he had refused to join the march towards the Prime Minister's house, saying it was against the collective party decision and would result in bloodshed. Hashmi had said that Khan's decision will lead to imposition of martial law in the country. Anti-government protesters of Pakistan Tehreek Insaf and Pakistan Awami Tehreek yesterday attacked the office of country's leading TV channel, Geo News, in Islamabad with stones. Pakistan's military has expressed serious concern over the prevailing political turmoil in the country. The core commanders' the conference of the top military brass was held at general headquarters in Rawalpindi last evening. Chief of Army Staff General Rahi Sharif presided over the meeting. The key meeting sent a clear message to the political leadership that the army was with democracy and the state of Pakistan and not with a particular individual. Mr. Sharif chaired a high-level meeting at the Prime Minister's house yesterday. He vowed to protect the state institutions as he appealed to the protesters to restart negotiations with the government to end the 18-day political impasse. In Iraq, at least 37 people were killed when a suicide bomber rammed an explosive-laden military vehicle into a construction site in Ramadi, the provincial capital of Anbar province. 22 security personnel and 15 civilians were killed at the blast. The nine-story building under construction, used as a base by security personnel, was located in the center of Ramadi town. A high-level meeting between Nagaland and Assam has agreed to continue with the efforts to resolve the border issues from the Chief Secretary down to the Deputy Commissioner level. The meeting was held in Chiruke Dima in Nagaland yesterday. Nagaland's additional Chief Secretary Toshi Ayer said the meeting was an offshoot of last month's talks held in Guwahati between Nagaland Chief Minister T. R. Zenyang and Assam Chief Minister Tarun Gogol. Capital Markets Watchdog Securities and Exchange Board of India has fixed one-year target for completion of all its investigations while sharply focusing on cases involving bigger offences. In an interview to PTI, SEBI Chairman UK Sinha said this 12-month target would apply to all the cases where an investigation has been initiated this year onwards. He said at the same time, the SEBI has expedited its probe into all long pending cases and their numbers have been brought down drastically. In Bihar, the ancient Nalanda University, which attracted students from all over the world, will arrive again today as classes will begin at its newly established campus at Rajdeh. The event will mark the fruition of the idea proposed by the former president APJ Abdul Kalam in 2006. Shocks at the U.S. Open continue after the exits of top players like Simona Halep, Petra Kvitova and Agnieszka Radwanska. World number 6 Maria Sharapova crashed out the fourth and final Grand Slam of the season last month. In the women's singles three quarter finals, 10th place Carol